A West Michigan woman is on her way to Haiti, working to get there to help children at a school that she founded in Port-au-Prince. I'm afraid, um, but these are my children. <laughs> That's 22-year-old Mallory Thurlow of Grand Rapids. She's the founder of the nonprofit Haiti Foundation Against Poverty. It's based in Grand Rapids. She first went on to a trip to Haiti on a Christian mission uh, six years ago, and she fell in love with the area and its people. Now, after that earthquake, Mallory is trying to get back to the country to help those that have become so dear to her. They still don't have food or water. They haven't seen any relief in sight, so the aid isn't getting to my kids yet. I know they've got a lot of people to find, so there's about 3 million people that need aid, and I know they're, they're doing their best, but I, I know, need to know that my kids are being taken care of. Mallory Thurlow is in the Dominican Republic right now. She is expected to arrive in Haiti very soon. She is joining us live via the phone. And we can talk to her because it's the Dominican Republic and not Port-au-Prince. Mallory, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. I know cell phone communication and other communication is very difficult when you're in the capital of Haiti. What are you expecting to find when you arrive at the school that you founded, Mallory? Well, I actually did hear word today from um, inside Port-au-Prince that I had uh, my boyfriend went over to the school and it is still standing. The walls are cracked, but it is still there. Um, so we'll have some repair damages. but. He did not see any of our children dead on the street. Um, some are injured, many are bleeding. And our organization did have the opportunity this summer to dig four wells, all of which are still working. So my children have had access to water. So I am just so, so thankful right now. What is your expectation, Mallory, when you arrive? Uh, will the building be usable or will those cracks have to be repaired before the kids can come back to school? The cracks will definitely have to be repaired. We'll have to get teams down for maintenance and fixing it up. It's not, it does not sound like it's in condition for children to be inside the building, but at least the structure has not completely fallen to the ground. Now, you say those four wells are operating. Does that mean the water is clear and healthy? Um, the water is clear, but it still has parasites and bacteria in it, uh, but it's, it's much better than being dehydrated. Mallory, when you get there, what is your intent? Are you going to try to go through the neighborhoods, try to find the students and bring them back, hold classes outside the building? What is your plan? Well, we should be, we're spending the night at the border tonight, and as soon as it light out, we're going to try to get into Haiti. I've been warned by people who I met in the Dominican airport today that we're leaving that um, we will be greeted with children grabbing onto our arms and legs, um, bloodied with their, their faces cut, and just pleading for help. Um, it will be very hard to not offer all of the help and assistance um, to each child that we run into, but we're, our goal is to try to get to our community, to our children, and to our orphanage and school, and try to get them to a safe house. That's the, the funding that we're getting in right now is to move these children outside of Port-au-Prince so that we can get them to a safe place. Um, they still said, the people that I met in the Dominican said that the, the ground is still shaking. Um, even today and through the night last night. I know you're carrying first aid kits, you're carrying water, you're carrying um, snacks, food for the children of your school? Yes, we're carrying all of those items and, and um, soap and some clothes and underwear and uh, mainly water and Gatorade just to try to get the children hydrated. Mallory Thurlow, we thank you so much for joining us. We wish you Godspeed and much success in finding those children and bringing them to safety. Thank you for being with us tonight.